What's up? Welcome back, Enchanters, to the first ever on this channel, the first piece in this series of the brand new Disney 100 1 tenth scale deluxe arts art deluxe art scale. There we go. <laughs> Iron Studios Fantasia the Sorcerer Mickey. This box is massive, and I want to stand corrected. This is actually not one tenth scale. Uh, this is actually much larger. All the other pieces are one tenth. This is a much larger scale. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely not one tenth scale. Um, this is the only piece in the series that they have made a lot larger. If I had a guess, I'd say this is about a one sixth scale, um, but maybe even a one eighth scale. I'm so excited to bring this review to y'all. This is the first ever review you're seeing of this piece on YouTube and socials. And it's brought to you here exclusive here at Enchanting Unboxing. And if you happen to meet me for the first time, my name is Javier Bon Jovi. I'm a collector. This is my personal collection, my personal one in my collection. But I'm also an Iron Studios retailer and I sell many of the pieces you see on this channel. So you can purchase this today. This is incredibly limited in its run. Uh, so. You can purchase it today, and if it sells out, we'll refund you immediately, but this could sell out at any moment. Just do bear that in mind. Now, before we talk about all the details and unbox this, don't forget to hit that smash button and subscribe to this channel. If the YouTube algorithm happened to have dropped you here, it means the absolute world to have you stay connected with us. So hit that smash button, like this video, follow us on all of our socials. We link that all in the description. If you want to know about more about this piece and all the details and specs, it's also on our website. I've linked it below as well in the description. And without further ado, let's dive in. Now, I'm so excited about this piece. A little history about this. This was announced about a year ago in commemoration of the Disney 100 anniversary. Iron Studios was able to uh, acquire Disney's license to start creating an entire series of Disney collectible figures for the Disney 100. There's a total of five pieces that were initially released. This is the first. The second in series is Scar. We don't have that piece. Um, it is coming later this year. I am holding off on that one a bit. And then we do have the Beauty and the Beast. It's already arrived, so it's the next video in the series. We have the Little Mermaid, and then we also have the Pinocchio. Now this piece comes in three different versions. All of these pieces do. You are going to get, there's the standard version that just comes with the Mickey alone. Then there's the Iron Studios 100 version, which is limited to only 100 units. It's $50 more and it comes with the silver base. And then lastly, the deluxe version, which is this one. And the deluxe version of this piece is going to have the waterworks background with the magic broom. It's, it's the one that you want. It's also the more expensive one because you are paying for it. Now, if you are curious, this weighs 28 pounds and it does come in its own brown shipper. So if you're curious about that, yes. These are not a number by edition, but I will tell you right now, very few of these were pre-ordered in general and very few of these have been produced. We don't have an actual number, but I have been told that it's a very, 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 very limited in its run. And when you think of statue collectability, it's considered to be, for Disney, there's so many dis different Disney statues, etc. It's considered to be the creme de la creme, top tier, best statues you'll ever experience. The portraits are going to be phenomenal, the attention to detail, etc. These are made of polystone, if you are curious with the materials, and they're all hand-painted. Um, and airbrushed as well. So without further ado, let's look at the Yuna carton. So here we have the art box, or the Yuna carton. I can see the front is zoomed in version of Mickey. As you come to the side, it just says Iron Studios in gold. And by the way, all these boxes have like this bluish hue with like glistening water effect to them all. The back has this is what the original version looks like. So if you just wanted to buy the more inexpensive version, there it is. We do not sell the Iron Studios 100 plaque version. That's exclusive only to Iron Studios. And we do not sell the small versions. We only sell the deluxe art scales uh, on our website. Personally, it's the best one because you're gonna get all the additional side characters and you don't wanna have FOMO by just having the small one. You're gonna pay a lot more, but 
uh, you pay for, you know, what you, you get what you pay for, right? And there we have back the front of the box. The top will say Fantasia as well. So your heart, if you are curious. And let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. I'm gonna take this out of the box. I'm gonna take all the pieces out. Now this, if you are curious, this will come with Velcro. So it does come with Velcro, two Velcro straps. So I'm gonna take this out of the box because it's so large off camera and then mount it with y'all so you can see how these pieces interconnect. And we can give this video, uh, we're gonna zoom in afterwards and give this a fully immersive review and give you my thoughts and rate this on a one to 10. So we'll be right back. We're back at Chapter. So we have officially unboxed this. Now, this is an incredibly massive, massive piece. And I wanna remind y'all that this is about a one eighth scale, so it's much larger. Mickey would traditionally be, um, if you wanted to scale this compared to all the other ones, he would be about this tall. So he's a lot, uh, with his hat, he'd be a lot, um, a lot smaller in scale, just a little bit. So I would say this isn't a one tenth. I'd say this is about a one eighth. So he's a little larger than all the other pieces in the series. I did mention that before, but something I wanted to remind you. And again, if you wanted to order these, I order them for you. So there is a turnaround time for them. And again, we run the risk that they may sell out as well. I don't know if they're available until I place the order myself. So uh, we do not keep these on hand. These are just uh, they're not made to order, but we only order them for you, so if you are curious. So here we have it. We have five pieces. We're going to turn it around. You're going to zoom in, but we're going to first start by mounting it. We're going to start with the biggest piece, which is massive. We have the massive wave with the broom, the staircase, and the pillar. And so what we're going to do first is we are going to mount the broom. So we do have five pieces. Another the piece is this broom. And this broom, I believe, goes right over here, if I'm not mistaken. And he pegs. Yes, he does. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. The magic broom looks so really adorable. And I love that you get two. You get one there and you get one here pouring the buckets uh, out of the water. It's freaking adorable. Then you're going to get two, two ocean splash waves. You're going to get a smaller and a large. So I believe the large is gonna go here and this smaller one should also go somewhere around. Oh, there he goes, yes it does. So there's two of them. So let's start with this one first. Now they peg in, there we have it. So that's the first one, as you can see. Now these are made of a clear resin. So this is all polystone. For the exception of the water effect, it is a clear resin. And this one's very heavy. It is going to peg in as well. There we have it. That was quite seamless. And last but certainly not least, we have Mickey. Now this is going to be magnetized on a peg as well. Apply them there. And there you have it. Have y'all zoom in on all of those details. Oh my God. This is an absolute masterpiece. Look at the, I mean, the water like the, the the whitewash painting on the tip of the water is just absolutely spectacular look at that have some styrofoam and again these do not have an addition size the bottom will say iron studios fantasia deluxe art scale and look as you zoom in on the details here. Here we have the pedestal here. The water here looks phenomenal. And then you have a bucket here in the water. And then if you look right over here, you have these vases as you're going up the stairs. This is my favorite, that broom right there with the water. I mean, it's just too freaking cute. And of course, coming up the mountain pillar, we have Mickey as he's summoning his water effects throughout in the background and it is just absolute perfection. Mickey's hat is also like a metallic blue hue to it. It is absolutely gorgeous. And here we have a more up close and personal shot of this piece. The scale of this y'all, I don't even know if the camera does this justice. Just look at the details y'all. 
Here we have the vases as mentioned, the broom, the bucket of water. There's Mickey. Look at the detailing on this piece. Now, just because of the scale, I'm going to give this piece a solid, solid, solid nine. What takes away me, what, what has me take away from this piece is the fact that it is much larger in scale than a one-tenth. Mickey should be a lot smaller. But then again, look at this master effect. Like they could have done so much more and added more characters by making the brooms to scale to, scale to one-tenth, but this looks as if it's like a one-eighth scale. Um, so that's something I did notice. It might even be a 1-6 scale. I believe this is a 1-6 scale, yeah. Look at the details with the water. That's the only reason why this isn't getting a 10, because it's not a true one ten scale. Just so y'all know. It is absolute perfection. And the reason being is compared to all the other pieces in this series coming out, he's much larger in size than all the other pieces. Which again, I'm not mad at. If it's just this one piece, Mickey, it's fine. The rest are all one ten. I can't right now. Look at the detail of the water. I just, it's an absolute masterpiece, y'all. It's, it's, it's absolute perfection. Just a dream of a piece, Enchanters. Now, if you are curious in this price point, this piece retails for $800. Now, you can, if you choose to buy directly through Iron Studios, you are going to pay sales tax. You are also going to pay for shipping on this piece. This piece is incredibly heavy. It's a box weighs 28 pounds. It's quite heavy. You're also going to pay for you're also going to pay shipping. So you're not going to pay anywhere near 800. You're paying after shipping and after taxes close to about $900, $915 for this piece. Now, if you do purchase it through us, we usually offer discounts on everything we sell for the exception of Iron Studios. Unfortunately, our profit margin is very little, so we cannot afford to discount these pieces at all. But what we do offer, and we do not offer free shipping either on these pieces because they're incredibly heavy. We pay to have them shipped to us, and then we must pay to ship them to you. And again, because of that profit margin, doesn't allow us to cover the expense of shipping either. But uh, there is a flat shipping rate already included, so if you are interested in this piece, our price for it is $849.99, flat. So you are going to save close to about $50 to $65 when you shop directly through us, because you don't it waives the tax. If you live outside of the state of Texas, it's free. It's tax-free. If you live in Texas, then it's going to be close to the same price that you'd pay at I for Iron Studios is, for, uh, to purchase this through Iron Studios, because you are going to pay tax on this piece. Now. We also offer a rewards program. So with the perk with ordering from us, you're going to get nearly a 4% cash back on that $850 in points that never expire, that you can build up and save and eventually get a free piece of your choice of anything. And you can use those points towards any Iron Studios piece. So yes, you can. It's the only way you can get a discount on Iron Studios is using our points program. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are, y'all. This piece is an absolute just marvel. It is stunning. And if you are curious as well on the height, the highest point of this piece is this wave right here. And this piece stands at, eh, it is 21 inches tall. If you want to know how wide for your display, this is the widest portion of it in here. It is about 20 inches wide and in depth from here to here, it is about 17 inches in depth. Absolutely stunning. What are your thoughts, Enchanters? Again, you can purchase this today. Click the link below. Don't forget to hit that smash button. If you're meeting us here for the first time, another great way you could support our channel is just give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, what are your thoughts? This is the first time you're seeing this on YouTube. Um, and not only that, uh, you don't have to shop with us to support us. You don't have to even hit that smash button and comment to support us. If you love this content, we do have an actual shop here in, in Houston, in Katy, Texas. Leave us a Google review. So if you love this video, if you've shopped with us before, if you follow us, it means the absolute world if y'all leave a Google review. I would highly, highly, highly appreciate it. What are your thoughts, y'all? Comment below. I'm beyond obsessed.
Keep collecting enchanters, and I will catch you on the next one with the Beauty and the Beast Deluxe Art Scale Masterpiece from Iron Studios. Keep collecting.